All right, I'm just going to jump right into this. Vanguard is out. And before I get into any criticism on this game, I just want to say that I like this game a lot. The gunplay is very nice. The time to kill is just exceptional. The movement is just buttery smooth. I like this game a lot, but it does have some issues. The main issue I want to get into about this game is the camo grind. The camo grind is probably the most tedious I've ever seen. And you know, I haven't been grinding camos for too long, basically since Modern Warfare. So, you know, say what you will about camo grinding in COD history, but for me, this is the toughest that it has been. So if you don't know here in Call of Duty Vanguard that there is 75 weapon levels for each weapon, and that is a lot. As you're working your way up to 75, you can get these challenges done and everything, you know. You can start making progress on your way to getting it fully leveled, but man, it takes forever. So right now, let me check my phone. It is 6.32 a.m. on Friday, November 5th. This game has been out for that long. It's been out for six hours, 30 minutes, uh, even longer if you are from New Zealand or you have an account that is from New Zealand. They got it like probably uh, almost a whole day earlier. So there's that. But currently in this game, the only people that have gold weapons are people that got this game early or that are absolutely cracked insane. As you guys know, I love to grind camos. Like that is the thing I play COD for. So you'll see me put out a, a video of me getting a weapon gold either in multiplayer or in zombies like almost every day. But here in Vanguard, I don't know if that's going to be possible because it seems like the only people that have gold weapons in this game are the ones that have gotten to play it like 24 hours ahead of everybody because that's how much time you need to get this thing all the way up to level 75 to be able to get all the challenges. And I know that there was some weapons put into Warzone, the M1 Grand and the SDGU that you could pre-level up for Vanguard. But right now there is currently a bug stopping you from completing some camo challenges. So it's making getting those weapons gold impossible. So the one weapons that you could have pre-leveled up to use on the start of Vanguard, you can still use them. You still have all those weapon attachments, but right now it is not possible to get them gold. But here we are in Vanguard, you know, for the first hour, maybe hour and a half, I was using the STG thinking, you know, that's going to be the weapon I get gold. But then everyone in my chat's telling me, hey, you know, this weapon's bugged. I'm hearing everybody say it's bugged. You cannot get it gold. So I'm like, okay, let's switch the MP40. As you can see, I have it level 58. This has been the weapon that I've used ever since that I learned about the STG bug. I only have it level 58. And I did get the ultimate edition of this game, you know, the $100 version or whatever, that big bundle that's supposed to give you a bunch of extra stuff. I'm pretty sure it gave me a bunch of extra XP tokens. I've already used quite a bit of them. I do have 14 double weapon XP tokens here somehow. I don't know how that happened. But I've used basically every other double XP token that was given to me. And I still don't have a weapon max level. I'm also using the operator whose favorite weapon is the MP40. And if you don't know, if you use an operator who has a favorite weapon and you're using that weapon with that operator, you get double the XP and double weapon XP. So even with that, even on top of using these double weapon, weapon XP tokens, it's taking me forever to level up. And in the past in Cold War on PlayStation, you get boosted weapon XP bonuses. I even went on my PS5 to try to level it up using that to see if it go by faster. And it wasn't even, you know, that marginally quicker. I don't even know if there is a PlayStation bonus for this game, like, like XP rates or anything like that. If there is, please let me know. But I've played a lot of zombies and I've played a lot of multiplayer so far today and i do not have this thing max level I, I i keep hammering that point in i don't have it max level so somebody for me as a content creator somebody who plays this game a lot and has you know this is their job to sit here and play this game i still can't even get a weapon gold so normal people just playing the game for fun you know playing the game after school after work coming home getting a weapon gold is a chore and getting these mastery camos these very nice mastery camos let me pull them up real quick things like atomic things like diamond things like gold these seem like such a far cry to a lot of people playing because it's just so impossible to get these things leveled up really quick let me show you my camo progress here on the mp40 i have all of my eliminations done you know that's pretty simple stuff my headshot stuff is you know i'm almost there i need 20 more multi kills i'm pretty far at as well our, our bloodthirsties we are way super behind on them but you know that's just because i'm i'm cheeks and i'm getting used to the game long shots it's just not happening with this smg right now point blanks we're getting there hip fire we'll get there eventually and then I still have to unlock all these weapon challenges, which say level five, level 10 and level 15. I'm pretty sure because this gunsmith was ported over from Modern Warfare, 
that it only knows a, le a level cap of 50 that it just added okay get five more get 10 more get 15 more from that point making this one be the 75 and man it has been tough i'll even show you what i've done in zombies so far and it's actually kind of crazy so if you haven't seen the zombie challenges yet brace yourself i think it's easier but it's also very time consuming this is 4,000 kills with the weapon in zombies i have half of that 2000 almost 200 and then criticals have been taken down very significantly from 2500 to 800 which is very nice i'm very glad that they did that pack punch kills also at 4000 we're halfway there on that reptilian get 10 rapid kills 50 times you know that's pretty simple and then you need to get 2000 kills with an equipped covenant which i think is this game's version of ammo mods you talk to this giant alien beast thing this, this monster that I'll give you that you can spend hearts on to be able to get different attributes like that forgive me because I've hardly played the mode so far I do enjoy it I definitely think the zombies in this game has the great like has great bones but needs to build off of it somehow so excuse me for not knowing all the nomenclature but this challenge is going to be tough that's all another 2,000 kills and then you know the other ones are kill this amount of this type of enemy another one of this type of enemy you know pretty simple stuff so i wanted to be able to get either at least gold viper or multiplayer gold for you guys today but i cannot get this thing leveled up for the life of me something needs to happen in this game because I, getting gold viper is probably going to take three days for each weapon each weapon three days how many weapons are in this game oh man i mean like i'm all for the grind but if i'm the only one grinding if content creators are the only one that have the time to be able to grind this that's not fun for everybody i mean i like that these challenges are a little more difficult you know there's a little more skill involved there's there's more of a you know there's more of a, a entry fee you have to pay to be able to get these mastery camos but it seems like a lot of people are going to end up giving up on the grind in this game because one the zombies it like i said it has great bones needs to be built out hopefully they add way more stuff to it but the zombies basically isn't there for a lot of people the multiplayer is really fun multiplayer is great i love how it plays but without the grind aspect of getting these camos done or the grind aspect being too difficult too treacherous like the getting all the way up to that max level being way too difficult to get to it's gonna turn a lot of people off from grinding these camos so something needs to change and it needs to change soon because a lot of people first impressions are their only impression so if they hop on this game they play for a bit they're like oh man i played for two hours let's check my weapon level and they're still only at like 20 that's gonna be a huge turn off that's gonna stop a lot of people from going like oh i don't want to grind this game the, the it's it's gonna take me uh, i'm gonna have to put out like 40 hours a week into this game i have to treat this like a full-time job if i want if i want any gold weapons that's gonna be tough because right now this this weapon grind me trying to level this up this got me wanting to go and sit in the shower and just listen to frank ocean and just smoke a pack of marble reds like i am i am so i'm so done but also like i love it at the same time it's it's i think i might be a masochist at this point with, with grinding stuff in video games. Like even going through and doing some of these extra challenges for the weapon. I don't even know if these are extra. I think it just shows what weapon challenges you're at. Like even the extra XP you get for completing these. It's it's not a lot. It does not help you out. We had this issue at the beginning of Cold War where leveling up weapons took way longer than it should have and we have this issue right now for vanguard and i think vanguard had a lot of hate going into it just based on his time period like this game could be the best game ever and people were already gonna hate on it because of its time period and now people are hopping on and seeing that weapon levels are taking forever to get and th thus meaning that getting camos are taking forever like plus zombies not being fully fleshed out being a little rushed like them not having enough time to complete of like a fully fledged out mode this is a recipe for disaster for vanguard and i i hope something changes soon because i i really do i truly enjoy this game but this grind is gonna kill me it will so i don't know i just wanted to throw my two cents in there i just wanted to get it out there that i am grinding i'm working my i'm working my ass off but it's gonna take a bit so that's just a fair warning to you guys if you're gonna be working on weapons in this game the weapon leveling takes forever and i had sledgehammer i had please Please fix this. I have to go back to leveling this up and I have to get this video out. So with that, I'm going to end the video here. If you guys like this and you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't dislike. If you're new here, please start subscribe and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. That's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.